So yeah, the uh, K9 uh, Sphinx match ended in a TK07 for uh, K9. Uh, I remember last seeing him on the contender. I think he came third or so. A lot of people th thought he couldn't box for shit, and they, they weren't that wrong, to be honest. I mean, it, it was a very ugly fight. It was kind of a back and forth. It, no, it was not bad. It was some rounds were clearly won by Sphinx. There was one close round, and whatever was left, uh, K9 took. I mean, before the fight started, when they faced off, for some reason Sphinx wouldn't look at K9. I'm not sure why. You could call it fear. Just I, I don't really know why. It is. A lot of people do different things for different reasons. So, you know, professional starts. Corey. Uh, Sphinx with the jabs, K9 with uh, I think it was a right body shot, body shot again, and then Corey picks him up, which I don't understand what's going on. This is an MMA match, you know, someone should have informed somebody. But I think it was, it was trying to prove that he could out muscle uh, K9, and it just didn't seem to really be part of his game plan. It didn't really seem to be what he does. So anyway. A car is there turning uh, K9 a lot of the time, and he's, K9 is constantly getting turned. And then there goes the right hand, and he's down, and that's it, no matter what he's done, that's a 10 8 round to uh, K9. Round ends. Uh, uh, 10 8 to um, K9. Round 2, yeah, I don't have a piece of paper. Let's go. Um, round two, well, there's a lot of holding going on, and it's just basically they're hugging each other out. It just, it's turning into an ugly fight, and it's only the second round. I mean, some jabs by K9, jabs by Kari, not landing that many at all. A right to the body by K9, hard jab by Kari, body shot at the end of the round while he had uh, K9 on the ropes. I gave that round to Kari, I thought he did the more effective body punching, did the better work. Round three, jabs by K9, right hand. Uh, there was an uppercut in the clinch, I don't know if a lot of you ruled that legal. I gave it, I just thought it was inside work and um, Corey should have had his head that low, just, you know, don't have it that low. Some body shot by Corey, jabs, that was back to K9. Um, the fourth round, this was the only close one I thought it could have gone either way. I mean, I gave it to K9, you could draw it, call it 10 times, it's your choice really. And um, uppercut, Jabs by uh, Kari, uppercut by K9, right hand, and some more jabs. Fifth round was all Sphinx. I mean, K9 did nothing. You could even call it a 10 8 for Sphinx because literally K9 did nothing but clinch, push, and constantly be dirty. And body shots by K uh, Kari, jabs and rights. It, it was gaining some confidence, <sighs> building some steam. Round six, I gave to Sphinx again. Not much going on here, but he was the busier fighter. He was landing some jabs. Uh, seventh round, yeah, my other. Round seven is on that. Seventh round, it just it looks okay. Some turning by Kari, a few jabs landing, and then right hand, he's down. Gets uh, gets up. I think he gets low blowed. I can't remember, it was only like a few minutes ago, but he takes another right, he goes down again, and then he's constantly, I think he's getting low blowed quite a bit. And then finally the ref decides one of them is a slip after he fell, and then he decides to call it off. But the funny thing is, K9 had gassed, I mean you could see it in him, he was tired. don't know if it's all that weightlifting he does, it's just a lot of trainers don't like the weightlifting. Or... Anyway, um, what's next though? <sighs> Well, for me, bet. Uh, for Corey, I think it's time for him to retire. His legs seem gone. I haven't seen many of his fights, but he just doesn't seem as the same fighter as he was before. K9, um, I guess he's come a long way with the head movement and you know, just sheer up power. He's, you got, you got to wonder what's next for him. He's 39 years old and he's probably going to be looking for something. I don't think he's really, even though he holds a belt, he's not a realistic top contender. Well. He's probably in the top 10 contenders of the light middleweight, but he's probably 10th night. He's not that high up the list. There's a lot of people that will beat him. The only thing he has is that right hand. 
and the just general wrestling that you could screw people with. I mean, Alvarez is uh, looking for an opponent on September 15th, and... <sighs> He's... K9 has been ranting or raving, wanting to be that opponent. And we haven't heard anything since. A lot of people, we don't know who they're going to put in there, whether it's Lara or anybody else. So we'll have to see. Um, like it? Nah, I can't say that. Uh, do what you want, leave me some feedback, tell me what you think, how you think it was going to go. I think if Corey could, could have stunned those right hands, he would have won. And he wasn't even doing that amazing a job of turning to K9. You know, it wasn't it wasn't a masterpiece. It was just general footwork, and he was just getting the better of K9. So I think someone like Alvarez could easily school him if he just stuck to boxing. If he had brawled him, I, I don't know how it'd end. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, it's about it. Comment, like I said, tell me they give us some feedback. Look for in the morning here. Uh, peace out.